Ow! Now, who still wants to go winter sporting? Historically, no pass can claim such importance as the Khyber. It's still the gateway to the subcontinent, whether you travel the modern or the ancient way. Alexander the Great's army marched this way over 2,000 years ago, and through succeeding centuries, this bleak, forbidding country has been a route of invasion, a frontier to defend. In modern times, Britain has played her part in defense of the Northwest frontier, and here are regimental records to recall the story. Today, men recruited from the tribes of the Khyber Agency stand on guard. History was about to be made here once again, but this time there'd be no sniper's bullets whistling among the rocks. The men of the hills had assembled near the Khyber Pass to offer a peaceful welcome to the royal visitors. And when Her Majesty the Queen arrived, paying her first visit to the Khyber, over 60 tribal maliks, or chiefs, were present to greet her. And in keeping with traditions of hospitality, sheep were offered as gifts. And in keeping with custom, the Queen must touch them in acceptance. Simple ceremonies, but nonetheless sincere for all that. And presently the Queen went to a vantage point from which to view the famous Khyber Pass winding through the hills towards Kabul. The Warsak Dam project built on the Kabul River has been described as a monument to the friendship of Pakistan and Canada. The Canadian assistance was given under the Colombo plan. A visit to the dam and its hydroelectric plant was paid by the Queen, who received quite a highland welcome. Her Majesty was no doubt fascinated by this ultra-modern work of construction that will bring so many benefits to the people of this remote region. Indeed, the Warsak project provided a remarkable contrast to the traditional scene in this part of Pakistan. And what a contrast was to be seen in Peshawar, for example. This colourful city was one of the principal places visited by the Queen during this phase of her tour. For some 2,000 years, it's been an important point on the main trade route from Central Asia. And today, it presents much the same spectacle as it has for centuries. We can be sure, however, that at the time we filmed these market scenes, there was much talk in the bazaars of the royal visit to Pakistan.